In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Deacon Angel Palacios from the Orthodox Church in America, Diocese of Mexico. In the mission of St. Andrew in Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. Today's Gospel is for September the 5th, 2018, according to St. Luke. Jesus rebuked the fever and she got well. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon, of Simon Peter. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and, and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent and he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. The first thing that really we have to highlight is that Simon Peter, the first pope, so-called, of the Roman Catholic Church, was a married man. He had two daughters. And he never left either his wife or his, da or his daughters. He went on to being an apostle, just as was Philip the Apostle and Nathanael the Apostles and hundreds of bishops afterwards and thousands and hundreds and thousands of priests especially we in the Orthodox Church I am a father deacon that is married it says here that Jesus rebuked the fever the unmistakable sign that Jesus is present is the healing of our infirmities. If we, however, are in a congregation where we are in the midst of perverted, and if we ourselves continue to behave according to our own flesh, is Christ really among us? How are you living today? Has your priest, your minister, your pastor healed you and lead you into being a spiritual man or woman? If he has not, then look up for the true Church of God. When you find those signs in yourself, when you are able to feel the mercy of God healing you and taking away those terrible demons that basically attacked and take advantage of us because of our human and flesh body. When we are liberated, liberated from them, when we are freed from them, then we will know God. And we will know that He is with us. But before, if we have not felt that, we still need to look for Him. May the one who is merciful show His face to you and me, now and always.